morning guys. So what are we gonna do today? So I have an area that's kind of industrial and I thought, how fun, we're gonna make this cute magnet board. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with some of the supplies we're gonna be using today. I have a saw here and I'm gonna paint the handle. I'm using this DIY gravel road, but you can use any paint you want, any color that you would like. I am using this slow dry blend medium, which is almost like a glue, but once again, you can use any sort of decoupage glue that you would like, any of them will work. And then to seal it, because I'm gonna put magnets on it, I'm using a polyacrylic. Have a couple exactos here, paint brushes, a sanding block, and of course my beautiful decoupage paper. Okay, let's get started painting. So I'm just gonna paint this handle first. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and we'll start our decoupage. So I'm gonna use this piece of Homer hardware paper. Actually, I wanted to use the hardware word on it, but it was too big. So I'm gonna use the paints and oil. I just cut this piece off because I'm gonna use this on a different project. So this is the piece I'm gonna use and here's my saw. So what I'm doing is lining up what I want on this blade. And I wanna make sure it's all covered and I can feel that my words will be there. And so after I've got a position and use my X-Acto and lightly cut, I'm gonna lightly score where the edges are. Do one edge, push in. Do this next edge. Pick your paper up and push in. And it doesn't have to be exact, but I want it fairly close. So I'm kind of just making lines and it's not cutting all the way through, but I'm gonna have some nice lines to look at. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it. I'm just going to cut this out. And that's gonna be fairly close. Make sure I've got this lined up correctly. Okay, I'm just kind of pressing down where the saw is so I kind of get a score line here. I'm not gonna cut it exact. I'm gonna cut a little further away and give myself a little extra room, but it'll be easier than working with a huge, huge piece. So I'm using my slow gel medium. So there are so many different ways you can put this on. Okay, so I'm gonna start gluing here where I have my more intricate edges and make sure this is all covered well. This paper's heavy enough that I can still pull it up if I need to. So you can use a credit card or anything that's flat. Pressing it out here, trying to get the wrinkles out. One thing nice about this piece is that it's already kind of a little grungy so that if there were a few wrinkles and with the image on it, you probably wouldn't notice. I'm just gonna work my way down on this. You do want to be careful if you are using a saw blade to be careful because it still is a saw blade. Okay, we're gonna let this dry a little bit. So first, not this dry, I'm just gonna sand this, these excess paper off the edges and you just want to do a straight down motion. Do not go up and down or you're gonna pull your paper. Just go straight down. I 
I found the easiest way to do the blades is just to grab the paper and push down. Be careful with your fingers. So you're just grabbing the paper and carefully pulling down. I'm just gonna lightly sand this. This is already kind of grungy looking, so I don't really need to do a lot. And I'm just gonna sand the edges of my wood a little bit. So I just got a paper towel with some water, and it's nice. The paint that I am using, um, the DIY, it's clay-based. So when I just rub this, it's just coming off. I'm not overly concerned, and it might take a little off the wood, but that's okay. It's just the back. Okay, now we're going to seal it. And I'm just using a poly acrylic, but you can use any sealer you would like. One thing you're gonna notice is that when you put your sealer on your paper, it's gonna look like it's all bubbling up again. But don't worry, because when it dries, it really will go back flat. It just like reactivates the paper, and when paper gets wet, it wants to bubble. But when it dries, it'll pull it nice and tight again. There's been a couple projects that had a few bubbles left, and what I did is just parchment paper over the top with my iron and ironed it flat and it was absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna let him dry. So this was a really easy project to do. Quite obviously these edges are sharp. I'd be using it for a magnet board on a wall. If you're concerned at all about the edges, you can take a real thin sheet of chipboard or something heavy behind it so it just comes out just a little bit, or you could file down the blades. I wasn't as concerned about it, so I just left it, but I think it's just so cute, but you can see all the different looks you can get from it. Hope you try this project, and thanks for watching.